Amen. Yeah. You can sacrifice yourself on the altar. Mm-hmm. But if you don't handle it, right. it profit you nothing. Mm-hmm. You can give to the poor. Mm-hmm. Amen. You can give every dollar you got to the poor. Yeah. But if you don't have love, right. mm-hmm. it profits you nothing. All right. How many of us love one another? Do all right. Yeah. Thank, thank you, Lord. 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 Help me, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. in the word of God so that we won't go back into the world of sin. Mm-hmm. People can't say sin is not powerful. I can stop any time. You can't stop at any time because when sin have a grab on you and you don't have God, mm-hmm. you still lost. All right. Amen. All right. And the devil is not stupid. He's not. He don't, he don't start y'all with a whole bunch of stuff. Mm-hmm. He starts y'all living. Amen. Just think I ain't being that angel. And before you know it, you're doing a whole bunch of other stuff. All right. So they're just like a snowball. You can get a little snow and keep rolling. The more you roll it, the bigger it is. When sin is conceived, it produces uh-huh. and brings forth death. When it is what? Conceived. Amen. But it get in your mind. If you don't get it out, you act on it. Now, don't say it tell me you want. Yeah. All right. If you don't get it out of your mind, uh-huh. you'll act on it. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's just like you mad at a person and just keep on dwelling on it. It's going to be big and big. Big and big. You explode. Yes. It's just going to let it out and not thinking. Yes. That's why, that's why I said don't let nobody else control you. Amen. When a person get in your mind that deep, they are troubling you.
can't teach something you have not experienced. All right. All right. All right. All right. Uh, wisdom come in. Uh, when you done been there. Yeah. And God done delivered you. Yes, Lord. Thank you. And you know what the penalty is. I don't care how we try to make sin look good. Yeah. The wages of sin uh -huh. is yeah. death. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. Hey, God means exactly what he says. All right. And when the chief shepherd shall appear, he shall receive a crown of glory. Amen. That right. fadeth not away. All right. Ah, uh, crown that faded. It don't need no cleaning, shining. It faded not. Yeah. Uh huh. Away. The crown is the crown of life. Uh huh. Eternal life. All right. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's why. That's, that's why. That's, that's why Paul said, "Listen, the, the, the things we are going through." It's not even worthy to be compared yeah. to the glory that shall be revealed in us. All right. Oh, we're going through some stuff now. Uh -huh. You come to church and act like you ain't been through nothing. You done been through some stuff. All of us been through some stuff this week. All right, man. Uh -huh. Satan ain't going to let you rest because he wants your soul. Uh -huh. Ain't get mine. Right. And get mine. Right. For call you in this. Uh -huh. Yeah. Church folk. All right. Yeah, because a, a lady come to my house the other day. Uh, uh, I've been knowing her for years, so she still was a wide state. And she told me, she said, uh, this girl named Glenda. said, you know Glenda? I said, yeah. She said, Glenda said, she coming, she gonna come in, she is gonna come in your house. And she know you got money somewhere in the house. She gonna get that money. And say she don't care what you say or whatever, she gonna do it. And then she go in there Lemon's house and get her some pain from her son, pain I said, well, let me tell you, I said, I think that be good. I say, uh, my pastor named George Green. I said, I got a good pastor. I said, no, uh, if he's sitting there watching you, I said, I knew he gonna be watching us when she come in here. And when they drag her out, I'm gonna say, Pastor, she came in my house. I woke her. So I'm gonna let you know. I know we're gonna be watching you. I said, come in my house, baby. And I'm in here. Uh, I come in here and she in here. I she gonna come out of here. I said, she ain't gonna have a dime in her pocket. But she gonna have more knots on her head than a bridal robe back. I said, so I don't come tell me no mess like that. I can't nobody come in my house and not let them in there. Amen. I Amen. She don't Amen. have no key to my house. Amen. I don't even want to hear no more. All right. Amen. You You took the words out of my mouth. You need another strength. <laughs>
Yes. Yeah. One can 
build you up. Yeah. And one can tear you down. Yeah. If you don't have one that can build you up, you're in trouble. All right. Right. Amen. Amen. Let's get to this lesson. Hmm. Not the part I want to get to. Amen. And when the chief shepherd shall appear, you shall receive a crown of glory that faith is not a way. Verse 5. Likewise, you younger, submit yourself unto the elder. Ye all of you be subject one to another, and be clothed with humility, for God resists the proud and give the grace of the Lord. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. How many of that sink it in with? Amen. 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 Likewise, ye younger, submit yourselves unto what? The elders. Some of y'all going to have no respect for older folk. They'll cut them out. Mm -hmm. All right. And then come to church and dance between the people. All right now. Mm -hmm. Something wrong with that, y'all. All right. And we're not training our children to respect older people. Amen. Mm -hmm. Now you ain't got to take that. Tell them out. Then when that child go to jail, you want some of them old folks to come here and get him out. Uh-huh. Old folks. Yeah. Young folks. Mm -hmm. Young folks. Mm -hmm. I mean, we got them so, so, so wrapped up that they, they can't stand the truth. Okay. All right. Tell them, try to tell them the truth.
Why you need to come out here? At least let them know you mean business. No, you don't do nothing. To, I, at least I don't do nothing to hurt you. Yeah. But I tell him right and wrong. Amen. I don't care Amen. how he takes it. That's right. The truth hurts. It's right. You can't come out of the truth. It hurts. It hurts. Mm. And I don't even try to hurt nobody's feelings, I'm just saying what I mean. Uh, yeah. No. Say what you mean. Mm -hmm. Say what you mean. Uh, sometimes I have to get a little high with it. Yeah. Because yeah. mm -hmm. some, sometimes it don't look like you understand when I'm down here. Yeah. Yeah. So I got to come up here. Right. Uh -huh. Amen? Yeah. All right. Jesus <laughs> didn't take Sign from Pharisee. All right. He called them like yo, free. In their face. Yeah. He didn't wait until they got out of town until he got with his buddy somewhere right in their faces. He called them hypocrites. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can't get no tougher than that. Yeah. All right. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. yeah. It's not what you say, it's how they handle it. Mm -hmm. All right. You know, you tell people the truth, they get mad and start talking to you. Mm -hmm. All kinds of stuff. Go to lying on you. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And these change folk. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. That's what makes you so bad. Yeah. yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Say it like you mean it. Amen. If it wasn't nothing going on, you wouldn't have to say it in the first place. Thank you. All right. Amen. Sometimes folks don't understand stuff until they get locked up. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Amen. So you have to sometimes be coarse yeah. mm -hmm. in your dealing with people. Yes. You know, Pastor, if they really thought about it, then, you know, in the long run, maybe, they realize that you love them. That's why you're trying to teach them right and tell them what's right and wrong. Mm -hmm. They don't accept it like that. Amen. Like, like this was saying, they think you're being mean. Uh huh. Too hard on them. Amen. That, listen, Jesus, God, give us His word so that we know how to live. Yeah. Uh -huh. And when we miss it, He whoops us. Right. All right. Yeah. All right. For God chastises those whom He loves. Yeah. And that was wrong with the world today. People don't love their children no more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. They got them children so they can get a check. Get your peace out of it. 
when you are charged about what you're going to eat, you ain't hungry. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Y'all, we done fell a long way. Sure, right. right. And I really, I hate to say this, I really don't believe we're going to get back. Uh -huh. It's like they loving their children to death because all that stuff they eat messing them up. I know a lot of them lie, they can't use the bathroom, like right? you killing your child. Uh huh. I'm not letting them do what they want. Amen. All right. Amen. What it says, subject one to another and be clothed with humility, be humble. Uh huh. Be humble. That's what I told you. Your attitude got to change. Uh -huh. I understand you've been around other people and that's the way they act. Mm -hmm. But you don't act like that around me. All right. You know, monkey see, monkey do. Uh -huh. You got to stop being a monkey boy. All right. Amen. God will only bless you when you humble yourself. Uh -huh. If you don't give me your dollar, I'm thankful. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's a dollar more than I have. Right. We gotta learn how to be grateful. Amen. Mm -hmm. I am so grateful for what God has done mm -hmm. through me. All and right. to me. All right. Because somebody said, I'm blessed, I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. 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 Not because I've been good. All right. He's good. Uh -huh. He's good. Humble yourself. For God resists the, the pride. Uh -huh. That's why you ain't making it. That's why you can't get where you need to go. You got so much pride. Uh -huh. And God is resisting you. All right. uh -huh. God, he made a proud look. All right. You don't have to be proud. Just look. Amen. Mm -hmm. It's a proud. Proud. Mm -hmm. Pride is a joke. Yes. Yeah, a lot of people is dead because of pride. Pride. All right. And give it grace unto the humble. Mm -hmm. Unmarried freedom from God. When you're humble, he just start blessing you. Yeah. Right. You thought you thought you were broke, and you went in one of your purses and found you had some money down in there. Yeah. Uh -huh. I have picked out a suit and went in the pocket, and there was money there. Yeah. Uh -huh. I wasn't as broke as I thought. Uh -huh. Somebody ought to be shouting hallelujah. Yeah. But we got to humble ourselves. All right. Come down from my horse. Uh-huh. Stop thinking you more than what you are. Uh-huh. You know, when I was coming here, I was talking to you about uh, this whole thing that's still healthy. Mm-hmm. And I was telling you, I was telling you, I don't know if it's because I was ashamed or what, but you told me I had too much pride. Mm-hmm.
Yes, sir, Krishna. Yes. Mm. Pastor, I didn't know that about pride. I'm listening there for what you're saying, and I'm like, right. I didn't know. Mm -hmm. But I, I'm listening at it now, so, and uh, I never knew that. Mm -hmm. And to hear this, so that means I got too much pride when I do my own work at home and don't ask nobody. This pride. Was, that's what's going through my mind. Pride. Life. You're going to kill yourself mm -hmm. with pride. Don't you have to talk? Uh -huh. I've got what I need now. Uh -huh. Talk, talk. Maybe if they talk, somebody else will do something. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I, you know, I had the wrong concept of that. Yeah, the wrong, the wrong concept. Yeah. But we were raised that way. Uh -huh. And there are some ways you've been raised, you've got to get away from it. Yeah. We used to, we used to go to people's house, and Mama would tell us before we get there, "Don't you eat nothing," and had and had us lying. Ain't y'all home? We ain't home. And we're lying. Yeah. All right. Huh? Because of their pride. Because of their pride. Because of their pride. Even to go to be go to my sister's house, like if she offers something, uh -huh. then take it. But don't you go in nobody's refrigerator, you know that kind of stuff, because you're not at home. Uh -huh. So then, no, 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 no. You tell him right, you're at home. Uh -huh. You know, you ain't come to my house. You what you want to do? So when you come to my house, you gonna take AC. Mm -hmm. And hope you don't stay too long. Oh, okay. 
Yes. Yes. Earthquakes in various places. We had an earthquake what, a year, a couple of years ago. Yeah. I've said this for you. Things were shaking and I want I'm trying to get my job done. I want to look at that. I know they ain't made it back here to say that only in that garage though. It was an earthquake. Who ever heard of earthquakes and three folk? Yeah. When it happened, the first thing in my mind is what the Bible said is going to be happening. He said, Listen, I'm going to die yourself, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, mm -hmm. that you may be exalted. Yeah. You can't exalt yourself. So gorgeous to every man. man no, no, baby. Right? I don't care how pretty you are, you look like somebody. And I know it's hard to me, but I'm looking like to somebody. All right now. All right. All right. Bring yourself down. Because somebody said, bring yourself down. Sometimes you can save your life. Yeah. By being humbled. Uh -huh. All right. People, man, got a gun. You gonna be standing there talking stuff. Uh huh. Shut your mouth. Mm -hmm. You might live through this one. All right. And when the police pull you over, that's a thorn. Why are you gonna climb? Them people have a thorn in their hand. You you can't. Be wrong and loud at the same time. Uh -huh. Police fool you, you better act like you got sin. Uh -huh. All right. <laughs> Let me tell you something, them folks just as scared as you. <laughs> and if you make the wrong move, you won't make it no more. It's coming in time. It's coming in time. It's coming in the right time. Yeah. 
If he give it to you now, you're going to mess it up. All right. Amen. Mm -hmm. How many of us know this? All right. If he give it to you now, you're going to mess it up. But sometimes you got to wait so when it comes, you can appreciate it.
why you got to make your own decisions. You can't let folk make decisions for you. They don't know what's going on in your home. They don't know what's going on on the way to the house. Be able to become busy about it. The Bible talks about that. Yeah, I want to tell you what to do. Uh -huh. Now, if you want to tell me what to do, start paying the bills. Uh -huh. I'll listen. All right. Patiently. Uh -huh. All right. <laughs> All right now. Amen. Oh no, 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 we ain't getting no money back. Uh -huh. I said, the money that they give me, no, I'm not going to get what they gave me. Okay. The money you give me to pay, help me with the bills, hey, go get your own place. That's when I said, Nico, if y'all decide y'all want to get rid of it, you can get all the suits back. Uh -huh. All right. But the teeth going with me. <laughs> all right. All right. So D, don't come to my house looking for no tea. <laughs> All right. Oh, I'm just happy that mom. <laughs> See, most people don't want to know they got dentures. Yeah. Uh -huh. Hey man, you don't gotta hide. No. We follow the law. Why the other man that came in the man ought to be getting strong and strong. We need to be getting closer to God. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Rick Mason told me one time when he got his dentures, he said, Yeah, I got I got me some dentures, I'm practicing, bro. Mm -hmm. He said, Now when this, when I get a toothache, I just lay it on the dress and love them daddy. <laughs> Me up. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Lord. Anyway, you need you need all you need you need a big all kind of help. Yes. Yes. Mm. And I noticed, you know, very on these apps, apps, people will send a picture, post a picture. From 30 years ago. I need one from today. Yeah, I'm telling you. Uh huh. Yeah, first you kiss and I don't know what you do. All right. Y'all ain't got it yet? All right. They're still trying to be like the you did the day you look young. Yeah. Be who you are. All right. What you see is what you see. Uh, cast all your cares upon him, for he cares for you. Oh Lord, that's some good, that's some good stuff right there. All right. When I was on the low, he still loved me. Uh -huh. He cares about me. All right. Oh, I am just dust, but yet he cares. Yeah. 
am going to do. Sooner or later, he's going to tell him. But at least at Walmart, I had some change there. Yes, All right. Amen. I thank this church for everything they've done. Uh -huh. Everything. They don't have to do nothing for you. All right, now. But I thank God. Uh -huh. Verse 8. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, has a wrong has a wrong line, walketh about, speaking whom he may divide. Be sober. Mm -hmm. Don't walk around here drunk. Yeah. All right. Some folk drunk had never tasted liquor. All right. They drunk on themselves. Uh -huh. All right. Hallelujah. All right. Drunk on themselves. Uh -huh. Be sober. Yeah. All right. You can't watch. If you're drunk, right. be sober. All right. Hmm. Be vigilant. Keep doing mm -hmm. what you're doing. All right. With care. With care. Stick to it. Mm -hmm. Be careful.
You have seen the devil. Uh-huh. He's a rolling lion. Walking about. Uh-huh. Now he can't walk by himself. Uh-huh. He can't walk All right. by himself. He's got to be in somebody. Uh-huh. All right. Some everybody should have said that. All right. Somebody got to burn it. Uh-huh. Somebody got to burn it. Mm-hmm. Preacher told us over. So the devil was outside sitting on the steps crying. Huh? Somebody asked, What you crying for? He said, Them folks in that church is lying on me. The only way you get inside, you gotta burn it. Uh-huh. I refuse to bring him to church with me. All right, now, yeah. all right. He didn't buy none of the gas to go in my truck. I ain't bringing it with me. All right. He, he's out walking about seeking. Uh-huh. He's looking for. Uh-huh. And when Jesus talked about the man, when the demon was cast out of and they went out into dry places seeking uh, shelter and found none. All right. And they came back to that man, found his floor swept in guns, uh-huh. came back in, All right. brought seven over. Uh-huh. Now you got in All right. All right. Before you accept the Christ, you had one. Now you accept the right. If you don't stick with the right, they come back. Now you got it. All right. Okay, I was just going to say that. And you said he went, when he went out and came back to him, I was burning his stuff, and he brought seven with him uh-huh. because he needed some help. Help. Yeah. Need help. He couldn't keep it by himself. So he got, he got to have some help now. All right. Yeah, he got to have some help. That's why some folks who have been saved, have gone off the deep end. Yeah. Uh-huh. You see them now. I thought they were saved. Yeah. All right. They messed around. That that demon came back in. Uh-huh. And he brought several of his little cousins. All yeah. right. Mm-hmm. Now they're in a worse state mm-hmm. than they were in the beginning. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why Satan is going all this that he's doing now instead of. Ever, uh, ever so often, it's regular, regular, regular now, because he knows his time is not long. Mm-hmm. And, he, and, and he, 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 he's using people to a point where it's getting worse and worse, and they're going faster and faster. Listen, ask yourself, why would it happen to me go? Mm-hmm. See, sometimes things will happen and we ain't asking questions. All right. Then people want to put the lie on the preacher. Some folks are controlled by demons. Uh-huh. Yeah. And then they want to get others to follow them. All right. I never read in my mind what it said, follow a member. Amen. All right. Amen. Mm-hmm. Never read it. All right. But Pastor, now it's more relevant now than it was back then because people are still in the church want to control everybody in the church. Uh-huh. And if they can't control everybody in the church, they get mad and then they have to get their little minions together to follow them. But but you know, it's God's way. It's not it's not about controlling other people. Listen, those who cannot follow my laws, right. who cannot stay in the church and follow peace, mm-hmm. it's good that they go. It's good right. to That's why I'm glad Jesus didn't say where there are a hundred people. Uh-huh. Amen. He said, where there are two or three. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Gather together in my name. Church and agree on the same thing. I'll be what? In the midst. All right. Many times those folks are hindering the church. Uh-huh. More demons. Uh-huh. More demons. Uh-huh. They tell part of the story, but they don't tell why. Yes. 
Yes, to tell part of the story. All right. And I would read some of it. says, stop thinking you got to tell your story. Uh -huh. Because the truth will finally come out. All right. I just, I just had a problem of trying to defend myself. Yeah. Uh -huh. I ain't defending myself to you. You ain't God. All right. <laughs> All right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, you already told him, God, don't play you, not Amen. Amen. Listen to what he says. Uh, what were we? Nine. Nah. Hold, resist steadfast in the faith. Know that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. Who resists this? Amen. Steadfast. Who resists Steadfast. In the faith, we are believers. Uh -huh. I'm a believer. Right. I got my faith. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's why the devil won. Yeah. The devil won't believe because you got faith. Yeah. Right. You believe. Uh -huh. Oh my God, and they're putting so much on this. Oh Lord, I think sometimes I need to burn these computers. Uh -huh. They're putting so much stuff on them about the Bible, the this and the Bible, with that. And he, he was named Jesus, and I don't care what y'all say. To me, he is Jesus. Hallelujah. And when you got a preacher on that cousin yeah. to the congregation, mm -hmm. all that pie in the sky, boy, he said, right. I got mine. Thank God for what I have. Amen. Uh -huh. Amen. I thank God uh -huh. for what I have. Yeah. Stephen, knowing that the same mm -hmm. affliction are accomplished in your brothers. You're not the only one going through. All right. Look at somebody say, you're not the only one going through. If I had a signboard on my forehead and you can read what's going on in my life, you would be shocked. Uh -huh. All right. We're going through some stuff. Uh -huh. yes. Got to cry sometimes. Yes. All right. Sometimes you're by yourself and you're bawling your eyeballs out. Talk to me, somebody. Yes. All right. Because of what's happening to you. Yes. He said, don't worry, the rest went through. John was thrown on the hour of power. Right. Peter was hung upside down. Yeah. Paul had his head cut off. Right. And Jesus was hung yeah. on a tree. Yeah. Right. You're not going through alone. Uh -huh. All of us All right. sitting in here this morning
Green. All right, place some comments. I second your report. Our scripture reading, 1 Peter chapter 5, verses 5 through 9. Total present, 12, total amount, I mean, all from $53. All right, so there's a man right here. I'm going to get a judgment in that and see another doctor. It has been profited. Take your second. Second. It has been profited most of the second, but the judgment has been received in another doctor. All in favor, let it be known by you to sign. All right? All right. All right. All right. No questions coming. That would be great. Thank you so much. Okay. Well, it's Corinthians, the 12th chapter, the 
18th through the 25th. But now has God sent the members, every one of them in the body had it that pleases him, school. And but now are there many members, yet but one body, school. Nay, which for those members of the body which seem to be more feeble are unnecessary, school. And those members of the body which you think to be less honorable, upon these we bestow more honor, and out of the common parts have more honor. While common part have no need, but God has tempted the body together, having given more honor, honor to that part that liketh all. That there should be no schism in the body, that the members should have the same care of one another. Right, you may it. Again, we thank God for being back this morning. We thank God that uh, He allowed us to go through the Thanksgiving season. Uh, we do it what they call we didn't do it, but because God had been good. Now we still did this instead of God's words, which is wrapped around the end times. We realize that we're right in the midst of the end times. All the things that are going on now in our homes and our communities are lets us know that we are right in the midst of the end times. When a man has no respect for another man's life, that lets us know that. We are right in the midst of the end time. When a man just soon to take another man's life and to speak to him, that lets us know that we're right in the midst of the end time. Worry about now how soon it's going to be, just know we're right in the midst of the end time. And know for yourself, if you leave your wrapped up in Christ, we'll spend eternity with him. No questions, no comments, that will be stated with our pastor. Do Lord, my Lord, do remember me. Oh, 